We are live. We should be. That's what it says. Let me make sure it can see us. Just boy. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, you should have had access. Mm. Yeah, it's got access, so. Oh, it's just being here. Yeah. Well, you know, it's enough for you can cast it to nothing. Yeah, you can if we want to. Get a crispy haircut, Ed. Okay. <laughs> he sure did, Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Thanks, Twig. We're going to give it another two or three minutes. We've got uh, a lot of food. Yeah, we got a full show for you and some news. We good. It's good, Harold. How's yours? It's cousin. Cousin. We got some big news. Including something that involves the two of us. Yep. I think we talked about it a little bit. A little bit. A little very tiny bit. Okay. I'm going to have to scoot back in the chair. There you go. Now we have more info. Yeah. I keep saying that, but it's not bad. All right, as soon as we hit 7 o'clock, we will get started. We'll give a few more folks a little bit of time to sign in here. Grandma flows here. Oh, sorry I didn't get to your um, message. I ran out of time on my phone, and I had just gotten some time for my dad to finish. Yeah, yeah. my buddy Devin's here. <gasps> no, Devin yeah. Walker that I went to high school with. Miss Teresa's here. Miss Twig's here. Yep. Hi. Dud. All right, it is seven. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I think most of you know us. I'm Dwayne. This is McKinley. Sometimes Matt. Yep. 
sure you're looking at the camera. Um, this is the Peep Show. This is January 2022. Um, First episode of 2022. <coughs> yes. Um, so, uh, in news, um, what's coming up for us? In March, and this is hard to say, it feels weird, but the Peep Show will officially have turned five years old. Yep. Half a decade. So, uh, we'll be in our fifth year. Um, we have gotten a little behind on snack crates, so we're going to do uh, more frequent peep shows. Uh, so kind of be expecting these. Uh, the goal is to do one every week for the next couple of weeks. Um, so you may get tired of us. <laughs> um, we may... And there you guys also something called burnout, which some people might know about. But let's hope that this doesn't that doesn't yeah. cause that. Uh, we hope you enjoy these. And as we've said, if there are things you want us to try, stuff you want to send us to try, let me know, and we'll certainly try that. Um, uh, Mom uh, Shasta. Uh, has always been good about grabbing like special edition stuff and around Christmas time that was no different um, you want to grab those and we'll show them mm. um, gingerbread Kit Kat yeah gingerbread cookie Kit Kat so we're gonna give those a try um, here's a hint they got left on my office desk and I might have tried them already um, but he will neither confirm nor will, deny that. Yeah, I... I also, um, something fun. We went and saw Millie really home last night, but that was the third time. It yeah. was my second time. Mm-hmm. Still a good movie. Mm-hmm. It tastes... Mm, well, I think that's bad. It tastes a bit more gingery than a regular Kit Kat, but not too much. They're just kind of meh. Yeah, they're not the greatest. I get a hint of ginger, but not too much. Yeah. I mean, our standard is um, Shasta makes these really good ginger snaps, even though they don't snap. They're they're a soft cookie. Um. um that just really have this good ginger flavor to them that we really enjoy. Um, these. And for emphasis, you made them on the 15th. I think they were gone within almost barely even two weeks. Yep, yep. That's how much we like them. So those are, I mean. They're not up to us. Yeah, the, the, it's not something like the the the... There's the regular Kit Kat, and then there's the the uh, the mocha one, right? The mocha that, one. Is good. Yeah, the mocha one that's really good. Um, those, like, if I saw a big version of that, I'd just pass. Like, like I'm not buying that. Um, no. Whereas the mocha one, nope. I, I would I would definitely pick that up. Are we not plugged in here, bro? I don't know. Oh. I did. No. <clears throat> All right, we need to plug the laptop in, or we're gonna run out of power. That explains a lot about why it was flashing. Yeah. Oh, there's a plug in right here on this. Yeah, but it's it's not gonna reach over there, but no, it might. There. It's not so very long. It's okay. <laughs> I'm old school. I'm not going to hurt anything. <laughs> okay. So, that way we won't have the uh, <clears throat> the technical difficulties of what is now amateurism. So, um, so, yeah. The gingerbread cookie Kit Kat. Um, yeah. Not anything to write home about. You want to grab those? Now, I love Reese's, and the next item is peanut brittle Reese's. Yeah, and this is this is how awesome uh, Shasta is. 
She actually has a peanut allergy, so we really can't be anywhere around her with these. But she but, will buy stuff with nuts and then just for him. Yes, and, and by the way, um, the Reese's Big Cup with potato chips. Oh, so good. They are good. Yeah. Although mm -hmm. I like the pretzel ones better. Not, yeah, not yeah. So. They have one with peanuts in them, which I don't think they have needed, but I'm so, not Reese's. Yeah, this is, this is the Reese's Peanut it's Brittle. It's a bit of a, like, it reminds me of, um, I don't know if they still have them, but a while ago, they used to have these all peanut butter Reese's and they'd be kind of this color on the top. And I was like, four peanuts. It's a lot more peanutty. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah. It, no, like, it tastes like a Reese's cup. I'm going to say that. Like, I get a lot of peanut, but, not but I don't get peanut brittle. I mean, it's crunchy, but it's not like peanut brittle. It's not like brittle crunchy. Like, I don't, like, it's not even the crunch. Like, I don't get the taste of peanut brittle. I mean, I haven't had peanut brittle before. So. You had your mom's cashew brittle. I don't remember what it tastes like, so. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I mean, they're good. But I don't know that I get peanut brittle. It's just like a really peanutty Reese cup. It doesn't even taste like a Reese's cup. It just right. tastes like somebody took, I don't know how to describe it, but somebody used the Reese's name and just made it all peanut. peanut. It there's doesn't no, even taste there's like There's no peanut chocolate. Cup. There's no chocolate at all. Yeah, no no chocolate at all, which is just weird. So. But they did that for a while. Like, they had, like, all peanut butter Reese's. It's almost like the white chocolate Reese's with lots of peanuts. No. And some other flavor added. I like the white chocolate Reese. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. Alright, our next thing before... Our next thing before... the We need streamer light thing. Yeah, I've thought about that. Steve, you may be right on that. Um, to just kind of change the lighting in here. So, I've thought about that. We may need to do that. Okay. Um, the next thing. This is a kind of cool item. There's Cinnabon, Cinnamon Bun Snickers, which my nickname is Cinnabon. So, here's the packaging. Yeah. yeah. And, um, we're going to split one, but we have two. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, yeah, when, um, McKinley was, before McKinley was born, uh, and Shasta was pregnant with him, we called him... Uh, Cinnabon before we knew um, whether he was a boy or a girl. So so now we're going to try the Cinnamon Bun Snickers. So it looks very similar looks to like a, a uh, regular Snickers. Okay, well. Okay, that's a different flavor. That is not normal Snickers flavor at all. I don't know if I get cinnamon though. I. Uh, oh wait, I get it now. Yeah. That takes a little bit, but you can. The nugget is definitely a little different. Again, I get what they're trying to do, but this may be one of those things where just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Doesn't mean you should. Right. I feel like it's one of those candy bars where you pick it up, open it, take a bite out of it, put it somewhere, and like... Two weeks later, you remember it exists. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad. And you get a little bit of cinnamon and maybe a little bit of creaminess, but... 
Hey, it's almost time for the marshmallow peep. Yeah, yes, yes, yes it is, Twig. Um, <laughs> we may do that, Twig. We may we may roll up in there with you with some for uh, for you in church tomorrow. So we got the preliminaries out of the way. You know the basic amateur stuff. <laughs> amateur peep show stuff. <laughs> None of it's amateur. So now we get the big boy stuff. So this month's. Snack crate is Hong Kong. Kong. Here's the not, uh, Kong. not King Kong. Kong. Dang it, there are peach flavored high cheese, and I can't have high cheese. Mm. <laughs> so, you want to start with the hot ones? Mm. Wait, are they even on here? Hell's Potato Chips. That's a name. <laughs> Hell's Potato Chips. <laughs> there, there's know. one for you, Steve. Can you wear these super spicy potato chips or not? Right, Steve. It sounded you? better on paper. Hell's okay. Potato Chips. But Let's see. These what... super spicy potato chips are not for the faint heart. These crispy, this crispy snack will take you your taste buds to AC double hockey sticks and back. It says not for the faint heart. I don't deal with hot stuff very well. Here, there, there's a little teeny one. I'm going to go Oh, 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 here. you got to finish what you put in your mouth. Ah. Uh, uh-uh. Mm. <coughs> That's hot. They're not that bad. I mean, they're not that hot, but yeah, they're hot. They're hot. Ah. The, these are Jack and Jill. Hell's potato chips. And they got a little bit of heat, but they're really nothing compared to the one chip challenge. I didn't have that, and I'm glad I did. Here. This is hot. I'm not finishing that. I mean, they're in. Actually, they, they're nice, crispy potato chips. Good chili flavor. I don't know which chili they're using. I can't tell which. Like Cayenne, pepper powder. So the ingredients are listed as potato, vegetable oil, super spicy flavor, <laughs> cayenne pepper powder, sugar, maltodextrin. Flavor is listed as an ingredient. Soy sauce powder, <laughs> yeast extract, spices, anti-caking agent, color, paprika red, sweetener, um, yeah, contains yeah. cereals containing gluten and soybean products. Now hold on. You cannot convince me that that is a red chip. That is orange. Okay. <laughs> One chip is... Alright, what, 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 you, you, where's your little paper? Oh. It, it, it tried to <laughs> run away. Oh, there is a drink in here. There it is. And it's, it's a Pepsi. Pepsi. Okay. At least we can still have it. We can still have it. You'll have to go get some cups. Mixed with a couple of... Which one do you want to do? I don't know. You pick. Actually, garden cream wafers. Which ones are those? Garden cream wafers. Oh, these little things? Is that what they are? Look, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know anything. What's this? No. Found them. Okay, this is me. Like, I don't, I don't <clears throat> I'm looking for a new co-host. <laughs> what? <laughs> because I found the wafers? <laughs> Open the door. Oh, if you can find a new co-host, you're not using my bedroom. Open the door to flavor heaven with these, these light and fragrant vanilla wafers and bites of a smooth strawberry cream filling for a truly blissful experience. So what you're saying is, I can go... What I'm saying is... No, we're, we're, oh, no. So what it's saying is, I can go and buy a vanilla wafer and a strawberry wafer, and I can break the vanilla wafer apart, and then break the strawberry wafer apart, and then put part of the strawberry wafers in the middle, and then put the vanilla wafers on top, and I'll essentially have the exact same thing. 
you're really overthinking this, son. That's my job. I watch too much a YouTube channel called Film Theory. All right, so these look like the the standard. Blissful. Blissful experience. Hmm. This just tastes like a vanilla wafer with a bit that is a bit more sweet. Oh, I am going to eat it. There's a weird taste going on there. Something is off of that bean. And I can't quite place it. I'm not too weird. The sugar wafers you get at any truck stop between here and Oklahoma City are a hundred times better. Okay, I want to try four seeds that I see with the rest of marshmallow and you start the little piece. Yeah, they are marshmallows. Okay, how many are there? Just two? I think there are two or three. It shows on this three. No, there are four. No, there are four. Yeah, because you have one, right? Yeah. Can you eat those with your... Uh... I don't know, they're squishy. You okay. can have a dry one first. All right, what are, what are they called? Four Seeds Daikuku. A fresh take on a traditional Japanese wagashi. This soft marshmallow snack with a creamy chocolate filling that's filled.